Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. X plus y over square root of x plus y is equal to 4. We need to find all possible values of x over y. So, let's start. Since uh, this expression x times y is under square root. So, this x times y must be greater than or equal to 0. And this uh, x times y can only be greater than 0 if uh, x is greater than 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. So, this uh, x over y, this x over y must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, if we multiply both sides of this equation by square root of x times y, then this implies that x plus y is equal to 4 times square root of x y. And from here, we take square of both sides of this equation. This x plus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus 2 times x y plus y square is equal to this 4 squared is 16 and this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with x times y. Now we move this 16 x y to the left side then this equation will become x squared plus 2 times x y. This plus 16 x y becomes negative 16 x y plus this y squared is equal to 0. Next x squared plus 2 times x y minus 16 times x y will become negative 14 times x y plus this y squared is equal to 0. Now, we suppose that this x over y is equal to k. Let x over y is equal to k. And if we multiply both sides by y, then this implies that x is equal to k times y. Now, we replace uh, this x and this x with this uh, k times y. Then, this equation will become, in place of this x, we write uh, k times y squared minus 14 times, in place of this x, we write uh, k times y times this y plus uh, y squared is equal to 0. Now, this uh, k times y whole squared is equal to k squared y squared minus 14 times k y times y will become 14 times k y squared plus this y squared y squared is equal to 0. Now, from here we divide both sides of this equation by y squared. We divide each term by y squared. We divide this negative 14 k y squared by y squared. And we divide this y squared by y squared. And we divide this 0 by y squared. So, this y squared will be cancelled out with this y squared. And this y squared will be cancelled out with this y squared and this y squared will be cancelled out with this y squared and here we are left with 1. So, this equation will become k squared minus 14 times k plus 1 is equal to this 0 divided by y squared is 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. 
in this equation a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 14 and c is equal to 1 and according to quadratic formula k is equal to negative value of b negative 14 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 14 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1 next k is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 14 plus or minus square root of this negative 14 squared is equal to 196 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 next k is equal to 14 plus or minus square root of this 196 minus 4 is equal to 192 divided by 2 next k is equal to 14 plus or minus now we factorize this 192 we factorize this 192 this 192 is divisible by 2 2 9 times 18 and 2 6 times 12 now this 96 is divisible by 2 2 4 times 8 and 2 8 times 16 now this 48 is divisible by 2 2 2 times 4 and 2 4 times 8 now 2 1 time and 2 2 times 12 2 6 times 12 and 2 3 times 6 3 1 time 3 now this 2 times 2 will become 4 4 times 2 will become 8 and 8 times 2 16 16 times 2 32 and 32 times this 2 is 64 so this square root of 192 can be written as square root of 64 times 3 divided by 2 next k is equal to 14 plus or minus this square root of 64 is equal to 8 times square root of 3 divided by 2 next k is equal to now from these two terms we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left 7 plus or minus 4 times square root of 3 divided by 2 next k is equal to this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and here we are left with 7 plus or minus 4 times square root of 3 so from here we get two values of k k1 is equal to 7 plus 4 times square root of 3 and k2 is equal to 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 now recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, x over y is equal to k and x over y must be greater than or equal to 0. We have supposed that uh, x over y is equal to k. So, x over y is equal to this value of k1 7 plus uh, 4 times square root of 3 and x over 
y is equal to this value of k2 7 minus 4 times square root of 3. So, we get uh, two values of x over y from this equation. And this uh, 7 plus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 3 is greater than 0. So, this is a valid solution and this uh, 7 minus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 3 is also greater than 0. So, this is also a valid solution.